Hey everybody, Jeffrey Powers here from Geekazine Think Magazine, Put In A Geek, and today we're taking a look at this. This is the Nex YZ, N-E-X-Y-Z. That's a three-axis universal smartphone adapter. This is if you have a telescope, if you have a monocular, if you have binoculars, and you want to get the photo, you want to get the video of the stars, of the moon, of the planets, of the of the eagle flying by or whatever. And this is a great device that'll help you get that picture because I've already tried doing this. I've tried taking my phone and putting it up on that eyepiece and it's not the easiest thing in the world. So this will help stabilize that so you can get those pictures. Let's go ahead and open this up. Let's start. Let's, we got some foam in here. It's just basically one unit. So we'll just pretty much pull it out. Looks like we got some instructions and we got a couple uh mount of some sort there and i think that's pretty much it in the box the instructions on how to uh how to set your phone in there we've got these uh these mounts and i'm thinking what they're going to do is they're protecting the eyepiece uh when you put them onto your telescope onto your monocular onto your binoculars and then of course we have the main piece right here all right so this is the item right here as you can see your phone fits right here this goes into the eyepiece, the monocular, the binocular, whatever, uh, depending on what uh, what you're uh, connecting up. We've got a adjustment right here to adjust how close it is to the lens. So you can really get this lens butted up against monocular, binocular lens. We've got a screw down here that's bringing up the height of the phone. And then there's another one here that does the length of the phone. So now what you're going to do is you're going to take your phone. You've got an iPhone 12 here. Just put this 12 in here with the case. This latch, you see how this latch will come up. This is where you're going to put your eyepiece in. And I'm guessing if the eyepiece is too small, then it'll probably fit these little adapters right here. But once you've got that in there, then you take this threaded screw right here and you tighten it up so it doesn't accidentally pop open. You see now you can't open that up. Now what we need to do is we need to line up the lens. So you just basically take these screws right here and you line it up with whichever lens you're choosing on here and then you bring that as close as you can to the uh, camera lens right there. You're capturing the moon or the stars or, or that eagle with then you will be able to have a more stable capture of photos. And then you can even use like a Bluetooth uh, Bluetooth thing or your watch or anything like that to take the pictures or the video. So because, uh, you know, like with a telescope, you're, you're, you're looking at the moon, you're magnifying. So it's uh, every time you touch it, it'll shake. It'll shake. So this thing right here will help it so you can get this lined up with wherever you're going and then get the pictures and the video that you're looking for. So I probably won't get too <laughs> much sun as we had a snowfall, but I wanted to show this to you. So I had the mount attached to the, uh, to the optics on the telescope there, and I've, uh, I've dialed it in pretty quick. It was, uh, you just gotta figure out which camera it's gonna go through. And then once you do that, uh, then you can really uh, focus it in and get a good shot. There's some uh, trees with the snow I've been taking a couple pictures on. Uh, and, of course, it really depends on how you have it set. We've got it set to uh, 1x in the photo. And, uh, of course, with the video, we'll, we'll do the same thing. Let's switch it over to video. So now, and we just have to make a little little adjustment and of course the iPhone can also do a little bit of adjusting too on there but as you can see we've got a really nice uh, really nice shot so I'm just gonna hit that video button and I'm just gonna turn this just kind of adjust this a little bit this way maybe a little bit this way to see how that fits in there but that looks pretty good for what we can do and uh, of course uh, Focus it in as we go. And then if we want to get rid of some of the light, we still have the one, the ability to push it in or pull it out and get a good shot.